In late 2007, Steve Jobs was asked to stop by Yahoo and meet with management. Former Yahoo VP Jeff Bonfort recalls the advice Jobs gave. You have to pick. You have to either be a media company or you have to be a technology company. But it doesn't matter which one you pick. You should just pick one and, and move on. Four years later, people are still asking if Yahoo is a media company or a technology company. Yahoo's leaders have come from both fields. A decade ago, Yahoo brought in Terry Semmel, who ran Warner Brothers, to be its CEO. But the most recent boss, Carol Bartz, fired in September, had no media background. In between, Yahoo was run by founder Jerry Yang, who remains a dominant presence. Yang knows ad dollars fuel Yahoo's business and make it look more like a media company. But some analysts say he's still too focused on technology. Jerry Yang would like to Yahoo to tack in the direction of being a tech company, in which case its competitors could be as scary as Google, Amazon, Apple, and name a whole host of other companies that are really good at providing technology services. And I don't think that's what Yahoo is good at. It'd be crazy to say Yahoo isn't a technology company. Jeff Ralston served as Yahoo's chief product officer from 2003 to 2005. He thinks Yahoo's tech strengths get overlooked. Yahoo does media. We do, we, I always still say we, they do content, yes. But do they do technology? Yeah, I mean, look at Hack Yahoo, Hack Day. They, they have an amazing relationship with the, the um, technological infrastructure of the entire web. If Yahoo's new owners feel the same way, analyst Jordan Rohan says Yahoo will need to beef up in the hot new areas of technology and fast. I think in order to be perceived as a technology company, they need to do a much better job pushing into the growth areas, investing in the future. John Ehrlichman Bloomberg, San Francisco.